so we are almost at that point and I'm gonna be making an herb butter for you if you know me I have to put a little spin or twist on things so in this bowl I have some salted butter that is at room temperature in this bottle is a freshly made batch of or green seasoning and this is a staple in almost every home in the Caribbean islands it is an awesome recipe I do have a video on it for you if you are interested I will make sure to leave that link in the description box for you and I believe it is called sofrito in Spanish here I have a lemon that is zested and some freshly chopped rosemary so let's get started so we're gonna start by adding my green seasoning for lemon zest and rosemary so we're going to give this a good mix I've never seen anyone done it this way yet so you're seeing it here for the first time in regards to using the green seasoning Does that not look amazing guys? And it smells so good. Okay, so the next step, I have a little zip lock baggie here that I'm gonna I'm gonna put most of it in my bag. Try not to make a mess. And this should be, this should be perfect. You have to remember to leave some back. So, you know, you can use that to smear on top of your turkey. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. This is some awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. All right, so we're gonna try to uh, form a log with this. Just like that. All right, so I wanted to bring you in just a little closer so you can see this better. And I believe this looks pretty much like a log and what i'm going to do next i'm going to put this in the freezer to get hard so we can cut it in about a quarter inch thick uh, disc and we're going to tuck these under the skin of the turkey so i'll bring you back when this is ready So you want to dry the inside of the, the cavity all right so i'm going to bring you back for the next step all right everyone so let's get this turkey in the oven and i went ahead and i preheated my oven at 325 degrees so i took my herb butter out of the freezer I'm going to cut this and there we go. So now I'm going to cut that into about a quarter inch size disc.
Alright, so we're gonna set that to the side. Alright, so I have my pan here and I misplaced my rack and most likely that is backed away. So I'm gonna place my turkey on top of a bed of vegetables, celery and carrots. And the first thing I'm gonna do, bring this closer to me, is to tuck my wings back just like that. Take the other one and tuck it behind its back. Okay, and you next thing you want to do is to lift your skin away without tearing. All right, just to show you. So I'll continue that, but we're gonna fill our cavity. And I'm gonna place a couple of my herb disc in here. Then I'm gonna fill it with my vegetables over here, which is onion, lemon and this is the lemon that i've zested that i used in the herb butter some celery carrots some more thyme and rosemary beautiful so the next step I'm going to place my disc, my uh, herb butter disc, under my skin. Well, not my skin, literally, but the skin of the turkey breast area. Okay, so now we're going to take the soft rub butter and we're going to smear it all on top of the breasts. All over the turkey actually. All right, so if you're wondering, this is a 13 pound turkey. All right, so we are pretty much ready to put this into the oven. So I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, you know, just to prevent the butter from burning. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And if you like, you can also add a little bit of uh, chicken or turkey stock on the bottom. That is totally up to you. So I'm gonna cover this with some aluminum foil just for the first hour and a half or so. All right, my oven is set to 325 degrees and it is recommended that if you're using a meat thermometer, the temperature should be between 165 and 170, preferably 170 in the thighs. If you're testing, I'm sorry, in the breast. If you're testing in the thighs, then it should be 180 degrees. Here it is. I just took it out of the oven and it has been in there. I would say it was done 
in two hours and about 50 minutes. However, I had to leave it in for another half an hour so it can get some color. I don't normally use uh, my oven downstairs where I usually do my cooking. So I, I guess I have to feel that out as far as, you know, baking a big bird or turkey in it. So basically this is like my first time, you know, baking a large bird in this oven. However, it is done. It is practically falling off the bone and um, the thermometer reads 175. So it is perfect, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of hours. I'm gonna, you know, put the uh, aluminum foil back on top of it and let it sit for a couple of hours so the juices can redistribute before I cut into it for you. I'm going to bring you in a little closer so you can see the thermometer. Okay everyone, here is the finished product of my brine roasted turkey. Does that not look amazing? And it smells so good in the kitchen. And I cannot wait to go for one of those wings as soon as I'm done with this video. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you will be making this for your family for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And FYI, if you are looking for a really good cranberry sauce, then I have the perfect one for you. I'm going to leave the link to my video in the description box for you. So please go check it out. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. So guys, thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to all your comments. Please leave me a comment. I sure love to hear from you. And... God willing, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. All right, so now I'm going to taste this for you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is, that is well seasoned. That is delicious. As soon as it hit my tongue, wow. That, and it is soft, so soft. It is delicious. Guys, please try this recipe.